I thought the the issue for the Raptors in the first quarter was just offensively. They weren't really getting um, a lot of looks in rhythm. Mm. Uh, I, I think OG missed some threes, which, you know, I think um, when you look back at all his attempts, pretty much all of them except for one pull-up three. Like, I'm, I'm happy with seven of the eight attempts that he took from three, which is good. Mm. Um, he just wasn't hitting those, right? Because he's he's been out of rhythm and he's been out for three weeks. Um, but they weren't going anywhere with the pick and rolls. Pascal wasn't really creating much in the pick and roll. Um, mostly the Pelicans would just switch and he would attack that switch on ISO. I suppose that's like successful in a pick and roll, but you know, it's not the same kind of you know feeling that you get from pick and roll mm. where you're able to get two guys together and, and attack the, the, the coverage and you know usually touch the paint and, and then kick it out, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then Scotty, I thought, you know, in the pick and rolls last night, I thought he did a lot of great stuff, but it wasn't really in the pick and roll itself. Mm. Jeff Down comes into the game and immediately in the first quarter runs two successful pick and rolls. Uh, one of which he gets the screen from Precious, um, you know, sets it up going, I think, middle, but drives to the left instead um, and, and catches the defense a little bit tilted over towards the middle of the floor. And he makes an instant pass to OG out in the corner, reverses the ball, and OG knocks down his only three of the night. Um, and then he had another play where he got the pick and roll with Precious, fed Precious. Precious actually had the chance to roll straight forward to the basket for an easier finish, but he kind of hesitated after catching the ball, uh, saw that the defense was sagged back, and then he sort of took two strong steps into his man mm -hmm. and finished over through contact. Very, very simple plays I don't want to describe it, right? These are very basic plays. The thing is the Raptors just don't have enough backup guard production at all. So when you're talking about basic, that's premium for what the Raptors bench sure. usually do, right? Um, I think when you look at the scope of the season, Malachi Flynn got his chance. Yeah. Delano Banton got his chance. Delano Banton had um, the first crack at it at the start of the season because he had a great um, summer, right? And mm -hmm. he, you know, did well. And preseason, I thought he was one of the standouts for the Raptors. So I didn't mind that at all, right? But it hadn't translated uh, at the start of the season outside of that game against Detroit, which was very good. Mm. Um, and then he got injured and he sort of slowly to get back on that and sort of get his rhythm again. And then we saw him play in the road trip as well. Right. And, and he also wasn't really productive in some of those games. Malachi, I mean, outside of that little hot stretch that he had. Yeah. Where it was looking decent in December, you know, there were mo moments where Malachi was consistent. In the yeah, rotation. it all, it all fell shots. apart after you interviewed him. Uh, the curse was real. I'm yeah. sorry. Um, but like after that point, it was just like, okay, if he's not going to make shots at a very, very high level, then we're talking about a player who's not really playmaking enough mm -hmm. for the bench group, and he's not really defending well enough for the bench group. So I think Jeff is kind of like the the middle, you yeah. know, point between all. Solid. Of them, right? He's solid. He's just solid. solid. Like there's nothing yeah. that he did last night that was spectacular. Even a couple times where he knocked down a corner three, or he took CJ McCollum to the cup twice. Like those are very basic plays. Mm. But again, I'm I'm very happy to take basic off yeah. the bench.